What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk oil catch cans, whether you should have one, how they work, and then we're gonna show you installation. Is an oil catch can necessary? It depends. Why would you need one? OEM designs are created for emissions reasons, not performance. On stock engines, the crankcase is vented directly into the intake. As engine oil temperatures increase, small amounts of oil and even water are vaporized and then vented into the air intake. Over time, this oil blow-by creates carbon buildup throughout your intake box, throttle bodies, valves, and other important components. At higher RPMs and performance driving, this oil blow-by increases significantly, resulting in a gunked up engine. An oil catch can or oil separator prevents all of this. It also ensures that any moisture created within the engine operation remains out of your engine oil. With all of this in mind, an oil catch can is a must have for any performance driven car. We recently installed our Turner Motorsport CSL air intake box, so now is the perfect time to install our catch can. With that, we can go ahead and dive into installation on our E46 M3. Next, install both fittings into the canister. Make sure you have your O-rings on as these provide the seal. Don't use any Teflon tape or pipe dope. Then use your one inch wrench and take these down tight. For the purposes of this video, you need to choose how you'll decide to run your line. We chose to use just the simple straight fitting and not the 90 degree. We use Teflon tape to put it in, and we use a three inch hose before going to this valve. And you'll see how that installs up in just a second. Next, you'll need to plumb for your drain line. We chose a very unique location. If you're gonna use the same location as us, you'll need to cut the drain line to 21 inches. And we'll go over that right now. You're gonna go through this one and three quarter inch hole. And that's gonna end up in the lowest portion of your plastic inner fender. And so, we're gonna to go to the car above us to show you exactly where that is. So, for reference, here's where we're at, inner fender, and we have that white dot. Now that's where that drain line is ending up on the other car. So what you'll do, take a unibit, drill a hole that's big enough to fit the drain line, and install. canister is going to be installed. We like to use a little bit of Never Seize on anodized aluminum. So it's going to be held in by threading it.
So what we're gonna do, these fittings, these are gonna go in the small side of each hose. While the large side of the hose is already pre-fitted to go on the canister itself. So be sure to pay attention to that. When installing your lines, ensure that the crankcase is feeding the baffled side of the canister and then the return line will plug into your air intake box. So we're checking fitment and again the flared side of the hose is on the canister. And we're checking over here we put our fittings in just to see how much we need to cut and trim. This is a 2003 so this big bend here isn't needed. Check your year it might be. So we're going to make some trims based on where the fittings end up on the hose and have a perfect fit. To protect our lines going through the body panel, we cut a three inch long hose, split it, and placed it on the sharp edge. Now they're protected.